I'm Nikki and welcome to the Preppy Possum. Today I'm going to lead you step by step through a painting. All right, let's paint the Fall Lake Pier. So let's just grab a huge brush. It's like a one inch brush or so and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some really light blue. Like a super light blue. And let's go ahead and brush just a little bit of that at the very top of the canvas just to get some paint on there. Don't worry if it's a little streaky. So we have some really light blue, and now let's grab a little bit of pale yellow and white. Maybe even, you know, with some of that light blue still on our brush. And we're just gonna brush some of that back and forth for a few inches. wipe off just to get a little bit of the yellow off of our brush and let's grab a little bit more of that light blue we're just going to brush a little bit of that in from the left and right hand side and now let's go ahead and grab even a little bit Kind of like two light blues together just to get a little bit darker and we'll start brushing that kind of all through the middle and then just take it down a little bit further because we'll come back and streak again whoa i'm throwing paint here Okay, now let's grab like some darker chalky blue, but you don't have to wipe out your brush or anything. And we're just gonna kind of fill in the whole bottom with like some dark, like navy chalky blue with some light blue together. And we're just gonna go to town and kind of get the whole bottom filled in with that just to get a good little layer.
gonna let that dry for a second. So just kind of wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. Now let's grab like a number six size brush and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some more yellow and white. So you want some pale yellow with some white. And we're gonna skip down at least a couple inches from the top of our canvas and we're gonna do just the top of the sun. So it's like the sun setting. So just like a little whoop, a little rainbow kind of shape. And then we'll just kind of do a bumpy little bottom because that's trees are gonna be there. And then just throw a little layer of paint and we can come back and thicken it up. And we'll do the same thing. You wanna skip down just a smidge and we're gonna do a little reflection. So skip down just like less than an inch and throw you a little straight line. And then we'll just throw a little whoop because it's going to be like a little reflection. All right, so we'll let that dry. We can come back and add another layer if we need to. Well, let's go ahead and grab a little bit more golden yellow. So you don't have to wipe out your brush, just grab a little bit of gold with it. And right off of the flat line of our little sun reflection, we're gonna throw a little horizon line over on both sides. And then once we have that, then we're just gonna add a few little streaks. Just kinda let it blend in. And you can even have the streaks come down a little bit lower in the middle. And this is probably gonna dry a little bit darker than it goes on, so don't worry if it still looks kinda light. All right, so now we got a little bit of a reflection. So let's go ahead now and add a little bit of that same up here at the top. So we're gonna do like the top of our trees. So you just kinda want a bumpy little bumpy little line. And then once you have that, we'll just brush just a little bit of that right above it to kind of blend into the sky. And you can take it all the way up next to the sun, just like we did with the shadow below. And then we'll come back in a little bit and kind of streak more up here, make it blend just a little bit better. But that's a good start to that. So let's go ahead and wipe off our extra gold. And now we're gonna grab some black and dark brown together. And we're just gonna go ahead and fill in our little tree row right here. So 
So I kind of start from the center, throw a little bit of paint in there, and then we'll take it like all the way to this shadow and to the sun. This top edge, you just want to make sure it's kind of bumpy because it wouldn't be a perfect edge. It's like the silhouette of the trees. So it's going to be a little bit bumpy. And we can come back and add another layer too if you get too much yellow in there. All right, now let's use that same color. So we still have the dark brown and black. And we're just gonna skip down from our sun. Like you can do it any amount, but I'm just gonna skip down like three or four inches. And I'm gonna throw a little line that just goes left to right for just a couple inches. And then once you have that now from both sides of that line, we're gonna throw a little line from the left hand side, you just want it to barely lean towards the left. And then we'll do the same thing on the right hand side. You just want it to barely lean towards the right. Then just grab a bunch of paint and we'll just fill it all in. And then once you have a layer in through your pier, then we'll go ahead and just kind of wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's grab a little bit smaller brush, so like a number four, and dry it off. And we're gonna grab that same color, so a dark brown. So number four and the dark brown, and now we're gonna add our little post. So let's start up like near the end, and we're just gonna skip down just a smidge from the end, and we're gonna throw a little line that goes straight up. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So you just want a little line that goes straight up. All right, now that we have those, then we're just gonna skip down just a little bit 
and throw. Another set of post. And they don't have to be in the exact same place or anything, but and this one's not gonna come up quite as high because of perspective. It's a little bit further back on the pier. It's, it's closer to us. And then we'll do the same thing. And then we'll just skip up, probably like halfway or so is a good point, like halfway in between that one and the bottom. And we're gonna throw up a little bit bigger post, so this one can be a little bit thicker. But you still wanna make sure you're going straight up. Now we have us a good little start to our post. Okay, so let's just keep that same brush and let's grab some lighter browns, so like a number four still, and grab like some caramel brown, some milk chocolate brown. And now we're gonna do some streaks that just go side to side, so horizontal. And whenever you're adding these streaks, kind of skip around. So you wanna feel like you could draw a line on the edge and then just kind of streak from it. You just don't wanna, you wanna make sure that your streaks aren't like perfect little dashes all the way through it. So it kind of helps to do a few streaks together. That's a good little start to our streaking. So now let's go ahead and wipe that one off. We don't have to rinse it out, just kind of wipe it off. And let's grab some like dark red, with even a little bit of bright red. And we're gonna skip all down here through the bottom and throw like kind of the impression of leaves. So you want these to be like little smiley faces, but it kind of helps if you do them pretty quick. So I'm just gonna skip around and they can start out bigger towards the bottom and then let them get smaller as they come up on your pier. But we're just gonna throw 
a bunch of these little smileys kind of all through the bottom. I'll skip and do the pier here in a second once I get a few at the bottom left and the bottom right. So I'm just using like a dark kind of red. And I'm just doing quick little whoops. So like you're going underneath the dime. But have them be like a little bit bigger at the bottom and then they can get a little bit tinier as you come up. So I would even throw like a few little ones kind of laying on your dock. All right, so now we have the start to our leaves. So now we can jump in there with like some oranges. So you can use like some dark orange, light orange kind of together. And we're gonna throw a few of those. So kind of the same, you wanna do some little whoops all at the bottom and whenever you're whooping make sure you have some that go right off that bottom edge so it doesn't look like you just jumped up and there were leaves you want to make sure that they're kind of continuing on off the canvas so we're going to skip around And then you want some little ones too, laying on your dock. We'll probably let our dock dry for just a second too so we can come back and add some yellow ones. Might even grab a little bit of brown just to kind of fill in a few little whoops down here, like through our corners. So through the bottom left and the bottom right, just anywhere where you had a bunch of blue kind of still showing. We'll come back and make it look more leafy. But that's a good start to our leaves. So then once you have that, let's go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. So let's start by like thickening up our sun just a little bit. So let's grab like a number four. So we're gonna start back up after letting it dry for a second with some yellow and white again on like a number four. And we're just gonna add another layer through our sun and the reflection. Just because you want it to be on there pretty good. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the little reflection. Kind of start in the middle by adding you another layer and then we'll take it all the way up to our trees. Just wipe that one off. And let's grab a little bit more of that dark brown and black. And now we're just gonna add another layer in, kind of through the middle of our trees, just to thicken them up. Just through our little silhouette here. Anywhere where it looked a little bit streaky and didn't get enough paint. We're just gonna kinda add another layer. Alright, we'll let that dry for a sec. 
and just go ahead and wipe that one off. And now let's grab some more of the lighter browns and we're gonna throw some more streaks in through our little dock. So like I said before, sometimes it helps to throw you a little streak on the edge and then just kind of streak off of that. And then while you have those lighter colors, this is where you can go back into those posts and add like a few more light streaks through all your little posts. And then anywhere your pier looks thin, like you could grab more of that dark brown if you needed to add some dark streaks. Then we'll go ahead and just kind of wipe that one off and rinse it out and dry it off. And now we're going to grab some of the like a pale orange and maybe like a golden yellow. So like some orange and some gold together. And we're going to throw a few of those little whoops at the bottom. So remember you want them a, a little bit bigger towards the very bottom. And then you'll have them get a little bit smaller as you come up the pier. So you'll just have some little, it's just kind of giving the impression of leaves. So you want to be like kind of quick and not intentional with this. You want to, just for it to look more natural, you kind of want to just go for it. You can always streak back over it if you get too leafy. All right, so we have us a little bit of that color. Now let's grab like a little bit of orange and red because I think I could use a few more of that color leaf. I'll just go back and throw just a few of those. And then I'll grab a little bit more dark red with even a little brown give you that dark rust kind of color and throw just a few more in case anywhere it was getting too light. You could even go back with a little bit of brown and do that too if it looks too light on you. Okay, let's see, that's a good start to our leaves. Then we'll just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And then we'll just grab a teeny tiny brush again. And now we have the pier in the fall. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check us out. We're on Cox Street in Asheboro. And be sure to check out our website, www.thepreppypossum.com.